These three examples can all be solved by factoring. If we factor the numerator and denominator, sometimes we find that there are common factors in the numerator and denominator that can cancel. And that's what happens in these problems. Let me show you something first, though, that you cannot do. I cannot take this 3 and this 18 and say those simplify to leave a 6 on the bottom. And I can't take the 3 and the 6 and simplify that to leave a 2 on the bottom. I can't do that because these are not factors. The top up here is x squared minus 3x, two terms. And I can't cancel terms or pieces of terms. I can only cancel factors. So right here, I can't cancel this 25 and 5. I can't cross that out and make that a 5. That's not, the, not allowed right here because this isn't just a 25 up top. It's a squared minus 25. And, and down here in this one, this is important. I cannot cancel these y's, and I cannot reduce this 4 over 16. That's important to remember. You can only cancel factors. So let's factor the top and the bottom. I'll do number 4 up here. This x squared minus 3x. Let's look at those two terms, the x squared and the 3x. Both of those terms have an x in them, so I can factor out the x. And that when I take the x out of the x squared, that leaves me with 1x, and when I take an x out of the 3x, that leaves me with a 3, and I still have that minus sign, so it's x minus 3. And you, you can see that that's how it factors if you redistribute this x. I have x times x gives me the x squared, and then I have the minus sign, and then I have x times 3 gives me the 3x. So that is equivalent to my original numerator. And then on the bottom, I have 6x minus 18. Well, both of those terms have a factor of 6, so I can factor out the 6. And when I take the 6 out of here, I'm left with an x. And when I take a 6 out of there, I'm left with a 3. And again, you could redistribute and realize you have 6 times x minus 6 times 3, or 6x minus 18. Now I can cancel. Notice I have x times this, so x and x minus 3 are factors, and 6 times x minus 3 on the bottom. 6 and x minus 3 are factors. So the x minus 3 factor cancels the x minus 3 factor. Again, I'm canceling factors, not terms. And so I'm left with x over 6, and that's the answer. In number 5, I factor a squared minus 25. You might recognize this as the difference of two squares. a squared is obviously a squared, and 25 is 5 squared. And, and here's the rule. If you have a squared minus b squared, that can always be re rewritten as a plus b times a minus b. That's what we call the difference of two squares right there. One thing squared minus another thing squared. And it always factors as thing 1 plus thing 2 times thing 1 minus thing 2. So we'll apply that concept over here. a squared minus 25 factors as a plus 5 times a minus 5. And then on the bottom we still have a plus 5. So this a plus 5 factor up top cancels the a plus 5 on the bottom and we're left with simply a minus 5 for our answer. And number 6. We'll factor the numerator. We have xy minus 4x. We can take an x out of each of those and that leaves y minus 4. And 4y minus 16, we can take a 4 out of each of these. So I'll put a 4 out here and that leaves me with y minus 4. And you can see the y minus 4 factor cancels on the top and bottom leaving us with x over 4 for our answer.